Okay guys, about to do a session on a low water Bristol Channel mark. Now, I've done this footage before, exactly what I'm about to do today. Unfortunately, I lost the SD card, but here we are. What I've got here is the VAS breathable waders. Now, I've had these nearly 12 months now, tackle testing them for VAS. Um, out of all the waders I've ever had, these have got to be the best by far. The quality in them, I've used them for marks like this, I've used them on reef marks, I've used them on um, estuary, I've used them bassing, I've used them raying. They're lightweight, breathable, especially for walks like this, up and down cliffs and long walks. You're not going to sweat in them. And as you can see, they've, had, they've been used a lot. No, no tears, no wet, they, they haven't, obviously with the knee pads bending down, they haven't ripped at all. Lightweight, and I'm going to show you today, exactly why if anybody going out to buy a pair of waders these are the ones to go for breathable comfortable as you see you come up through here so on the front got a zip pocket ideal for your bait elastics your rig bits etc that zips up two classic fast straps we're going to unclip these a minute. You've got a tightening buckle on the front, on the inside, and then you've got the inside pocket, which is ideal for your mobile phone, etc., all waterproof. Reinforced knees, knee pads, obviously for when you're bending down, etc. Classic comfortable boot, studded, so obviously when you're going on the rocks, etc., you ain't going to slip, and they're very, very comfortable. We've got the belt strap obviously to tighten them up as well and for marks like we're about to venture to now very long like we've got probably half hour till we get to the venue lee has got some classic waders as well but they're not breathable what he's going to find is halfway up he's going to be sweating like hell will's got breathable waders on today and i've got breathable waders on myself so what we'll do is we'll do do the, the trip today Right, we're probably about a quarter of the way up towards the mark at the minute. Obviously, Lee's got the classic heavy waders from Vass on. For one marks like this, you're sweating, aren't you? I'm sweating already, yeah. Yeah, you can feel it inside, you? I, I need to take my layers off. You, you sort of, obviously, they're, they're meant for reefs and obviously hard grounding, sharp, obviously, they're extra tough. But for walks like this, like I said, 12 months, I've had no leaks or nothing. They've had wear and tear, hard use, constant hot, your hard use throughout the year. And I'm not sweating at all in them. Obviously the breathable, ideal. I've got an extra pair of socks on at the minute, um, just for comfort. Obviously we've got a long walk, but um, yeah. What are you thinking so far? Bit of a, bit of a it's mission? a long walk, yeah, and I'm gonna take some layers off. <laughs> <laughs> So here we have Rob Bender, SAC, Willie Missouri. He's been to the mark many a times. What have you had off here then, Will? Uh, small lines, turbot, plenty of dogs. <laughs> <laughs> the usual, really. Good. Hoping for that big blonde today. Yeah, good time of year for it. Yeah. Good tides. Perfect think, tides, perfect gonna, conditions. We'll be going up to the 200 gram leads as we reach low water. As you can see, the drop off, literally, we're going to be right out there. Later on, I bet we see some boats. Do you reckon they'll, yeah, they'll come off in front right fishing there. for the blondes? <laughs> but it's um, Master Tree B here. It's his first time. What do you reckon, Lee? Yeah, hopefully see some rail today. Yeah? Yeah. Game on. It is pretty much perfect conditions. Bit of a mission, as we said, but the, the waders are perfect. But um, it's out of a trek. Out of a trek. Out of a trek. Look how dangerous, but at the same time, how beautiful. Each year it just gets worse and worse, and all these rock forms, but at the same time, what a beautiful part of the coastline. Perfect grey condition. When I die, this is where I want my acid spread. Over the years, I've had some really good times with friends fishing up here, before I started getting into the specimen side of things, when it was just about fishing killed it a little bit to be honest after the big ones all the time you're getting the smaller ones you don't get the same buzz but um it's 
what it's about at the end of the day. See the lads down the bottom there now, waiting for the tide to ebb away. A little bit early, but we got up here bright and early, so we'll be the first ones down and um, get in the spot. Fish on, they're saying, fish on. So here we are, about to venture down a cliff. As you see, breathable waders on, and I'm looking forward to getting these putter or extras in and um, fingers crossed putting a few fish out. I'm sure we'll see a ray between us. Flattened off perfectly. It is one of those venues though, you could come up here and you could blank. blank many but time. you could also come up here and you could have a mental session. But um, we'll, we shall see, we shall see. Bye. So I've got my rucksack on. All clipped up. Waders on, off I go. As we said, we're doing this single, singles because anything that falls, if someone's underneath you, it's going to hit them and it's not, it's not worth it. Safety all the way. As you can see, he's taking his time, just checking himself for safety. The quicker you move, the more rocks is going to start slipping off. You know, will cause yourself pro uh, more problems. So uh... it's good to keep try and keep the rope in one place as well, because that rope's going to be knocking stuff down at you. See, look at that. You don't want any of this going down on you, especially from up there, you're dead. So the idea is to get down, look up. See in daylight now, got all these rocks, and um, I'm gonna go make my way over to the right hand side. So that way, when they're coming down, second fastest tidal flow in the world, Bristol's Channel. See this when the rocks and the studs come in handy, slipping on this type of rocks. And I'm gonna put my rods there. Take your time, mate. It's got Lee coming down there now. As you can see, it is a windy, windy road to get down. He's taking his time. It's his first time the lad's been here. And um, fantastic bass and mullet angler just venturing off on the rays. It will return a favour in a few months' time once some mullet in the bass start coming in. Never really target them like that. Big wheel up the top. I'll come down and give him an hand. 
fellow teammate come waiting his way back for him, look. But work as a team, he's not you. Careful! Don't rush, don't rush! Come down, I'll help you, mate, come on. Lee, follow, follow the light stuff, don't come down the slope, work with the rope, that's it mate, just go down the thing, just hold yourself to the rope, that's it, there, yeah? yeah and then you come down this bit here, to the left. don't come down here, come down this bit here, but hold on to the rope, I, I would put the rope to the left hand side of you now, that's it, you got it mate. Just watch up, look, look up when you're going down because you want to be looking up to check. Do you want to pass me your rods? Excuse me. When you're coming down, just look up because there's anything we're coming down, you can see it coming. Yeah, I wasn't looking at the Here we have William coming down now. Never good angler. Some fine fish to his name with blondes over to the 20 pound mark. As you can see, Will was coming down front ways. He's holding the rope. I tend to look up behind because obviously anything was falling down, at least you can see it. But he's like a mountain goat, that one. Tide waits for no man. <laughs>